Hey guys, it's Landon with RH. This is the first video in a set of videos I'm going to do on a boundary survey I'm doing here in Stockton. I, I hope that I'll be able to release these video sets uh, through our local Land Surveyor Association chapter, the Central Valley chapter of CLSA, California Land Surveyor Association. That's my ultimate goal. I can't promise you that's going to happen, but I'm going to try. So I did a, a, a partial set of videos on a boundary survey I did for a little ranch, a little horse ranch on Dynstag Road in Waterford. I think I did the first two or three. I do have a couple to finish on that. Uh, I've got to uh, finish up uh, the boundary resolution and show you guys the record survey map. We've resolved that boundary and the record survey map is, is almost done. So I've been waiting for my team to, to finish that up and then I'll go back in and do a couple videos. So I haven't forgotten about that. I know I've had a couple people ask me. So I will finish that set of videos on that boundary survey, uh, but I'm starting another one. And I, I and so this is going to be the first video. I'm going to try and do a little better job in this set of videos and actually use some of our workflows. Sometimes I rely too much on my experience and I, I hotshot stuff and I need to follow my own procedures. So I'm going to try and do a better job this time on, on that. So this is the parcel we're surveying in this video set. It's 3540 Wilmarth Road. This is just a, a volunteer project we're doing, a pro bono project. It's in a rural area of San Joaquin County, northeast of Stockton, near Stockton. It's a deeded parcel. It's not mapped, so we'll have to do record survey. I'm going to set mons. We have a highway. Uh, so this will be interesting. We'll learn some things on this. I don't think we're going to find major problems, but not very much of this neighborhood has been surveyed. This parcel was the last parcel surveyed, and that was about 30 years ago. 30? Yeah, about 30 years ago. Everything else is super old. So this will be interesting. There will be a few monuments to find, but our parcel's never been monumented, and the neighbor's parcel has never been monumented to the north. Uh, so we might have some junior senior rights issues. We'll have to take a look. So what I want to do in this video, now that I've introduced the parcel we're surveying, is walk you guys through the boundary research. And then the next video I do, I hope, uh, we'll set up our little GIS project that we're going to take into the field with us. So let's get into that boundary research. Here is our boundary research workflow that we're going to try and follow. So let me open that up and show it to you guys. Just be patient with me. My computer runs a little slow with the screen recorder. <clears throat> so this is our, our boundary research workflow. So the first step here is just getting set up for the research. We want to identify the subject parcel and the limits of the research. Uh, and then we typically would prepare a boundary research request for the survey tech. Hi, I'm the survey tech, so we don't need to do that for this one. And then we'll set up our boundary research log. So we will not have a boundary research request on this because I'm doing the research. But let's talk a little bit about uh, the subject parcels and then we can set up our boundary research log. I'm sorry, the, the, the subject parcel and the limits of the research. So this is our subject parcel and we are part of an old antiquated subdivision. And basically our resolved boundary matrix is going to be kind of this area here. Uh, we don't need to cross the highway. Uh, the subdivision boundary is, is here and over here, I believe, on the east-west. And it might run up. I don't think it runs up all the way to Cherokee Road. So we're basically concerned with, with this area. This is going to be our resolved boundary matrix. Um, I may end up coming out a little farther up to Cherokee Road and Waterloo Road, but I don't think we're going to go any farther east than this or west than this. We'll see. Now, I may have to go a little farther east and west along the highway to get the highway in. There is, thankfully, a record survey map on the highway, which we have. So that's basically our, our resolved boundary matrix. And when we set up our GIS, we will include the larger area here. So let's go ahead and set up our boundary research log. So I have copied that here. We're actually going to take both of these templates and we'll move them over to our job folder.
So at my shop, we put these in boundary research. We're going to drop these in. And then I am going to rename them with the job name, which is 10106. And this is the uh, this is the deed list. And this is the boundary research log. And I should have put a date on there. I'm sorry. So today is the I think it's the 12th. Yep. I actually still use old school calendars, believe it or not. And we're going to fill both these out. Now, I've already done the boundary research. I didn't want you guys to have to sit through that, but I'm going to re I'll review it with you quickly. So this is our boundary research log. We'll put in 100, 106. This is 3540 Wilmarth Road. Stockton is the job name. I'm the one doing the research. So put my name here, the date of the research. And I did filed survey map research. And this was done at the San Joaquin County Online Map Index. Uh, there was no point of contact. Oh, I'm sorry, this was, oop. The research source was this. Location was online. We didn't have a physical location. <clears throat> research scope, we can just say search for, search for and downloaded all filed survey maps in the area. And we'll say, so on the results, it's just a quick summary. No survey map of our subject parcel found one retracement survey of our uh, east adjoiner and a handful of other parcel maps or record of survey maps in the area. So it's just a quick note. It doesn't have to be a you know it doesn't have to be super intense. All right, so then we're going to add another row here. That was for the filed survey maps. We also, whoop, we also researched the uh, tax assessor maps and the adjoiner deeds. So date will be the same. So this is just a, a summary of the research that we're doing. That was that sucked. Let's try this again. So tax extra maps were obtained online. No point of contact, data tree. Website was where we got those. Uh, we could say searched for and downloaded tax assessor maps in the area and uh, obtained one tax assessor map that covered the subject parcel, adjacent highway, adjacent county road, and all adjoiners, all adjoiner parcels. So that was all on one tax assessor map, so we really only needed one. <clears throat> okay, we got one more and then our log will be complete. So we did our deed research. That was done online. No point of contact. Data tree. Searched for and obtained the subject parcel deed and adjoiner parcel deeds. And I think we can just duplicate that note here. That's basically it, guys. Now, I may end up going back in and doing some additional research that we update the log, but for now, that's good. You can save that. That was pretty quick. Now, we're going to fill out our deed list here, <clears throat> put in the job number and job name. And uh, we're going to just fill this out here for our deeds. Let me see if I can split.
split this screen for you guys. That did not work the way I wanted. Sorry, let me try again. <laughs> Yeah, it's not working. Let me pause this. All right, guys. So uh, we only had three deeds for this. Let me show you why. Uh, we've got our deed, the north adjoiner, and the east adjoiner. I'm not crossing the highway or the county road. Those are both be owned in fee. So pretty simple. Uh, we may get, we may end up getting some other deeds, but we're going to start with this. So uh, what I do, and, and I've got them organized here. There's our subject parcel deeds and our adjoiner deeds. So I filled out our deed list here, put the recording number in, subject parcel deed, north adjoiner deed, vesting deed, east adjoiner vesting deed, and then just a little bit of information. They're all meets and bounds, land descriptions, and then I put in the grantor grantees. We're going to take a closer look at these deeds in future videos, but we've got a nice, uh, nice list going here. Uh, this just helps you, you know, sometimes you open a folder, there's a bunch of deeds in there. You don't know what deeds for what. So this will help us keep track of that. I will also show you that I just put a quick abbreviation in the names of the adjoiner deeds. So I know this is the North adjoiner and the East adjoiner. So that's going to wrap up this first video. Got our boundary research done and documented, filled out our boundary research log and our deed list. In the next short video, we are going to set up the QGIS project so we're ready to go into the field.